Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you Cubase 5 settings for recording. So before you want to record in Cubase 5, so the first thing you need to do is to right click on your desktop. Now when you right click on your desktop, you just go to new and you create a new folder. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just name the folder tutorial. Or tutorial 1 or let's say tutorial 11. Okay, now I created a folder because the way Cubase works is actually Cubase is going to save all the data in one folder. So if the data is scattered all over the different locations in the computer, your data in Cubase will not be complete. So first of all, we need to create our folder. So after you have created a folder, then the bit you want to use to record, you're going to put the bit inside the folder. So I'm just going to take any of my bit. Um, I'm going to go to app bit. Yeah, I'm going to take one of my bit and I'll just drop it down here inside the folder so you make sure that the bit you're going to use is inside the folder then i'm going to open my cubase 5. so after opening your cubase 5 you're going to see three options here then we're going to click new on this project but since for the purpose of recording you just click empty so i'm going to click empty right here so when i click empty it's going to tell me to go to that folder that i have created so i'm going to look for that folder and the destination where I created, created that folder is on desktop. So I'm going to click desktop and I'm going to use Lecter to, yeah, this is the folder I created. Then you're going to tell Cubase, this is where you're going to be saving all your files. Then you're going to highlight it. I'm going to click it again. Make sure it's, on, make sure it's highlighted like this, then you click OK. So once you click OK, it simply means that you have tell Cubase that every Thing that you're going to be recording every editing is going to go into that folder right so now this is your working area this is your working area uh, on your cubase 5 then you come to this bar right here and add the track you're going to use to record your sound then all you simply do is to right click on your mouse and you're going to see these options and one of the options here say add audio track add audio track for your recording so you're going to click audio track so it's also going to bring another option and the option is mono. Then when you click this arrow down, you're going to see stereo. So for the purpose of adding your beats, beats are usually in stereo so that your sound can play on both sides of your speaker. Then you're going to click stereo. You're going to add stereo. Then you add stereo. Then once you add stereo, you click OK. Then you can see that Cubase has opened up a recording track for you. This is exactly the track that you're going to be recorded. So the next thing you're going to do is to import your bit into Cubase. So all you simply do is to click file and you click import. So when you click import, you go to your destination where you save that folder right there in that your folder. You click. So my destination is desktop. All right. I click desktop and I go search for that my folder, which is tutorial 11. So my good. So this is the folder Then I I open the folder here is the bit you can see Cubase has already started saving your creating your data for you so it's already creating folder so this is the bit I'm going to import the bit right so I'm going to click open so I'm going to highlight the bit and I will click open so what you simply do is to click OK then once you click OK you see the bit has been imported right so the bit has been imported so I'm just going to zoom in by pressing my shortcut G to be able to zoom in now your beat is here, so I'm just going to sample of the beat. So the beat is actually playing. Then you want to also add track for your vocal to be recorded. So right here, then what you need to do is to come to this bar here, right here. Then right click again and go to add audio track. So I'm adding audio track then this time you're not going to use stereo it is recommended you record your vocal on mono so i'm going to click mono so i'm going to add so you can see it has added an extra audio track that i want to record my voice on right so um then so you're not going to record only on this track but if you need only this track maybe if you want to record the full song and you're recording chorus you're going to be recording more than one track all you simply do is to add multiple track for the multiple record takes or recording you are going to be doing. So secondly, you just come here, you add again. Then here, you can add the multiple track that you want to add if it is five or six. If I just come here and put it six or five, I click OK. So you see, it will just add up to many track that you want for you. 
and to just add them up since you're going to be taking multiple voices so the next thing you're going to do is to make sure that the track you want to record on you just click and highlight the track has to be on hash if i want to record here i click here then i open up a record on this track if i want to record here i click here so highlight the track you want to record on so once you highlight the track you discover that there's a button here showing you red right and this is your recording button right here so before you want to record you must make sure that your recording button right here which is this is on red so once it's on red then you can be able to record then right here is on red then before i'm going to click record here and you watch that right now you see it's going to be recording <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, you can see it's already recording. So this is how you set up your Cubase for your watch and recording. Um, if this helps you, so make sure you follow the tutorial on one step and you can watch this So if you, you're going to achieve. So this is how you set up your uh, Cubase for recording. Then make sure you go here and click save. So when you click save, then you title your project. Let's say tutorial level. So it is save. So my project is save. Then uh, um, so make sure you follow this guide step by step. Hope you have the same result. And um, this is how you set up your Cubase five for recording. And if you want to record on the next track, all you simply do is just to highlight on the track and click. So if you, you click stop, stop for recording. So that's basically the settings you need. Then if we go back to our Cubase file folder, then you discover that the Cubase whole data is actually this. So I'm going to minimize right now for me to show you the folder. So I minimize. I went to my desktop. You can see. Boom, this is all the Cubase data. You see Cubase has created an audio file. These are all the data that I've, when I was speaking up, and these are the images and all the data. So you learn to save your data in one place. So whenever you want to go mix or master your data, you just simply do is to copy this folder and save it somewhere. So it's going to be the whole of your data. Anytime you want to open up on even on an advanced version of Cubase, you can be able to do that. So guys, so make sure you like and subscribe on this channel so that whenever we upload a new video, you're going to get notification. And don't forget to join our free music production class telegram class in the description below see you in the next video